everyone. Welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. My name is Sammy. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to do this video a little bit differently. I'm going to take you through what I was inspired by. We're going to do a little bit of DIYs and then instead of doing reveal photos or videos right after the DIYs, I'm going to show you how I actually incorporate my DIYs into my decor and show you that way. Okay, so I hope you guys are excited about this video. I also want to thank Temu for sponsoring a portion of today's video. With that said, let's go ahead and get right into this. Let me take you through my Pinterest inspiration and what sparked everything that I did in my living room. I thought these were stunning, very classic, very regal. I had a little bit of a rustic kind of vintage touch, which I really liked. And that is what kind of inspired all of this. So for these, you guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so I've been seeing this like flower hack, like rubbing flower on ornaments or like during fall, it was pumpkins. That's what I was going for here. Needless to say, it did not work out for me. <laughs> so what we are gonna do is I'm just taking old Christmas bulbs and I am mixing my paint with baking soda. And we're doing this to give our... Um, our ornaments some texture and I feel like it helps too with coverage. So when I first started doing it, I was just doing one layer of paint first. And this is sandstone by Waverly, by the way. And then I was going in with the baking soda and paint mixture. However, I would just mix your paint with the baking soda right off the bat and do two layers of this. So that was my first layer then i'm so i'm just going to show you i'm getting the sandstone mixing the baking soda the more baking soda you put in the more texture you're going to get out of this and the second layer you put on this you want to kind of stipple it on you don't want to put an excess of it on especially if you have detail in your ornaments because you still want those to come through so you don't want it overly thick so i do that to all of these ornaments. And then this is where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna dust some flower on here. Y'all, I'm the type of person that watches a craft video one time and is like, oh, I can do that. Then I go to do it and completely forgot how they did it. I wing it and it doesn't come out anything like theirs, but you know what? <laughs> it comes out like mine. So, <laughs> so again, I am, <laughs> it's just ridiculous because it absolutely did nothing except you'll see. So I'm using, I'm also going to use Vintage Green by Folk Art and we're going to use Prairie Gray by DIY. Now I'm not going to make you like, I'm not going to show you me painting every single ornament. I promise you. I'm just kind of taking you through for those of you who have never done the baking soda and paint. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how it works. So did that first layer. This is my second layer with the baking soda. I dusted the flour on, I put them on skewers and then stabbed the skewers into a box for them to dry overnight. Now, once that was done, <laughs> so here's my flour. All it did, you guys, is look like dried up sugar. Like it did, it did not do anything. So I don't know what I did wrong. I should probably watch the video again. Now I'm gonna use brushed metal in like gold and silver. This is a great alternative if you guys do not have waxes and all of that. This gives us almost the same effect and turns out very beautiful. So I'm gonna grab a chip brush. I am dipping it in that brushed gold and I'm just gonna dry brush it. So you could also use your finger like I usually do with the wax. Um, I found that the perfect combination was actually mixing the silver and the gold together, which was very beautiful. The whole, I think the flower concept to me, it was just giving it that really um, matte look, matte old look, but I still got it just by using the baking soda and paint. So skip that step. <laughs> I should probably rewatch the video. And <laughs> so we're gonna do that after we're done. We're gonna pop those tops back on. They were gold, so I didn't need to do anything to them. And I'm gonna grab pipe cleaners. I could get four 
little sticks out of one pipe cleaner. We're gonna feed those through the top, twist them, and this is how we're gonna attach them to the garland, which I will show you later in the video how we put those on there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Friends, let me tell you about Temu. And if you haven't been on this thing, get ready to spend hours on it because seriously, um, Temu is an online marketplace which offers competitively priced products in multiple categories. And when I mean multiple categories, you guys, I mean, there is everything and anything on this app or you could go to the website and with my code READY485, you're gonna get 30% off $19 or more, which is amazing because these prices are so low and I cannot wait to show you what I ended up getting from their website. So I'm gonna start with what I used for the house and inside the house and then go to the craft room. You guys, look at these little nutcrackers. They are nutcracker banners. They were only $4.99 for two of them. And if these don't make you smile, oh my goodness. They were so easy to put up. All I did was put a thumbtack at the very top. I'll probably put two on the bottom um, just because the wind, but you guys, $4.99 for two of these. And I am so stoked about it. Seriously, do they not make you smile? And then I got, okay, so here's my linen closet. You could see that huge pile of sheets and stuff. I got this, it's called a quilt storage bag, and I love it. This fit multiple sheet sets, tons of blankets. It even had more room in it, and I love that it had the clear front panel, and it has the zippers. I want to actually order two more of these because I could stack them on top of each other, and they're going to be amazing. And that was only $4.48, you guys. All right, craft room time. Look at this organization right here. Okay, so this is actually their cabinet side like quad compartment organization and it was only $4.49 and I thought it was a great way of organizing my paintbrushes and making them super accessible to me on my workstation. And I think I'm gonna grab one more of these as well and put it on the opposite side. Now, I got this infrared thermometer. It was $7.49, came with batteries, and I've been sublimating. So with sublimation, if your heat, if your temp is wrong, you can scorch something or your colors won't come out as vibrant. So with this, I put it in the middle of my heat press, and sure enough, the temperature is 397, not 380. So that can really affect my images and my colors. So I was super excited to get this for 749. I mean, it was a steal and it came with the batteries. So the last thing are these um, storage containers. So there were 25 pieces in this and I wanted to use them to organize my craft desk and then also my desk for my Cricut workstation. And y'all, there are so many in here, I'm probably gonna use them in the kitchen as well. But these were $31.99 and like I said, it came with 25 of them. So you guys head to temu either.com or download the app today. Use code READY485. The links are going to be in my description box and I will post them in the comments as well. Thank you, Temu, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Now, continuing on, we're gonna take one of the Dollar Tree bells and we are just gonna upcycle it using the same concept of the baking soda and the paint. I'm using Truffle by Waverly here. And again, I don't, there's no like ratio, just the less baking soda you use, the less texture you're gonna get. The more baking soda you use, the thicker that paint's gonna be and the more texture you're gonna get. So again, using a chip brush, I'm gonna do one thin layer of the mixture onto our bell. I didn't like spray it with a matte spray paint or anything like that. This is just the bell itself. Now I'm going in with that second coat. So you can see how streaky the first coat looked. Now with this second coat, we're gonna stipple that on. This is where we're gonna get our texture and that is what is going to help like that gold kind of like pop through here. So I'm just using that brushed gold, once again, that's from Folk Art, and we're gonna put this all over our bells. I did two, I had three. I should have done three because I could have definitely used them in the decor, 
but this is a great way of taking a dollar 25 um <laughs> bell and making it look super nice and fancy so taking the dollar tree leather ribbon i'm going to cut this straight down the middle don't toss that other side because we are going to use it i'm going to string it through the top and then i'm going to hot glue the base i'll show you right now so string it through at the very base of it i'm going to hot glue it and that's because i didn't kind of want it i didn't want it bowing out if that makes sense i wanted it to stay together so you didn't really see the middle of it are you guys picking up what i'm putting down here and i'm just going to give it a really neat knot at the top so when i say neat i just wasn't like doing it like super fast i wanted it to have some kind of structure to it and i do that with two or sorry <laughs> one more so again just showing you gluing that base and then just doing a nice simple knot at the top all right these are gonna look so cute okay you guys these are so stinking easy and probably my favorite these are the big clear bulbs from dollar tree i you guys oh my gosh they're so beautiful and you can do this with any color i did spray paint the tops of them gold i did not show that process it's just spray paint gold then i'm going to take my gold spray paint by rust-oleum I do probably like three sprays in there. You don't want to overdo it with the spraying because then you're not gonna get this beautiful like marble effect that happens. So as you can see, I'm just like rolling this around and you guys, this is gonna sound so weird, but this was so therapeutic. It was almost like watching, um, what do you call it? an hourglass of sand going down the way that this spray paint moved. It was so pretty and I loved watching it, but this was all I did. I put three sprays in there and then I just moved it around in a circular motion. Once it got to where I did not want it to move anymore, I put my um, heat gun on a cool setting and I um, hit it in the middle when I put it upside down on the table, nothing even came out. So it does like dry right away. I stuck the gold toppers back on and that's all I did. And you guys, you can do this with any color. I'm, I'm sure the metallics would look better. I thought about putting a second color in there after the gold dried, but a part of me was like, you know what? Like this is enough. Like it looks so fancy. It looks upscale, why overdo it or possibly ruin it? So I stuck with just the gold by itself. But if you've tried this technique with multiple colors, please post it in the Facebook group because I would love to see it. But you guys, this was so easy to do and you will be shocked. Some of you guys already saw the picture. It's so beautiful. Now for these little bottled brush trees that I did for fillers in my bookcase. So I'm just taking the prairie gray, mixed it with the baking soda. This might seem very repetitive um, in this video, but I just wanted to show you how you can take the baking soda and paint and do some really pretty upscale DIYs that don't take any time at all. So I only had to do one layer of this y'all. And I will say a little tip, go light on this you could always put another layer because what happens is if you put too much on there and it dries it almost dries like in a blob and then it starts cracking so that's why right here i'm taking my chip brush and going over it and getting the excess off so that it doesn't dry clumpy and start cracking on me so again only took one coat and then i am going to take these bottle brush trees i'm going to set those aside real quick i am going to get these bottled brush trees from dollar tree i'm going to take off the bases you just have to hold them really tight kind of twist the bases off but they will come off now i'm going to take a very sharp utility knife box cutter and i'm going to keep cutting around this base I want it to fit super snug in the top of my baby food jars because I want to see a little bit of that wood peeking out 
And I also, the, the stems on the bottled brush trees were so short that I wasn't like down to stick a bunch of like foam in there and stuff. So this was my solution for it. So you have to keep trying it. You have to keep cutting, pushing it in, cutting, pushing it in. But once you get them in, you cannot get them out. I mean, those suckers are in there tight. <laughs> so you can put the tree back on right away or you can wait because what I did was take that brushed gold once again and I am going to dust the bottom of our little faux cement. I loved the shape of these baby food jars. Love them. And these turned out to be little great fillers for my bookshelf. And I could change up the trees next year or I could take the tree. Right. No, I don't How's think. How's everybody enjoying this format of video so far? Let me know down in the comments. I cannot wait for you guys to see the end results because I was kind of shocked myself. Um, I've never really decorated. I don't know. I'm calling this like regal Christmas theme. I don't know. It's like fancy and I'm not used to that. So I love the way it turned out. I hope you guys are excited to see the end result. And please, please, please make sure you leave me a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe. You guys, 70% of the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribers. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. So press it, press it right now. Press the like, press that, comment down below. Help your girl out this holiday season. That could be like my Christmas present from you. Okay, anywho, anywho links are down in the description box for you if you wanna check me out on all my other social media avenues, Amazon link as well. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into the rest of this video so you can see the final results. So let's get to showing you how I put these in my decor. So I'm a collector. So I like to collect all my decor first so I can see everything I have. And then I start decorating. I'm also somebody that once I start decorating, I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember I had that piece. And you'll see, you guys, I use a lot of my DIYs that I make in my decor. So we are going to start with the garland. The garland itself I got at Walmart and it has pre-lit lights in it. I also got these picks from Walmart. They're super boho looking and they were surprisingly in the Christmas section. Um, so I was like, oh my gosh, I need these. I think they were like a $1.29. I don't know, something like that. So what I'm doing is alternating the colors. There's a cream color and a sand color, and I'm alternating them all the way down. And there is eight total. Now I'm going to take all of those bulbs. I have some glittery ones too that came with the set I painted. We're going to take that pipe cleaner that we strung through them, and we are going to basically wrap them around one of the little branches and then twist it. You want to get a color, I use dark brown, or you can use green. You want to get a color that's close to your garland. And then I just start filling it up with those ornaments that we painted. Again, alternating colors. I've heard from a lot of you when like I was doing floral arrangements that odd colors, odd numbers are better when doing kind of like arrangements like this. I couldn't tell you how many bulbs I actually painted, but um I am alternating the colors, like I said, throughout. I wanted this to look full, but I didn't want to overdo it because the bulbs, once it's lit, it's kind of going to speak for itself. And like I said in the beginning, this is probably like the fanciest um, like DIY, like decor that I've done. Then I take these gold little leaf picks. These were also from Walmart. I think they were less than $2 and I took five total and put those throughout as well. I love how this turned out. My husband came in and he complimented me right away on the mantle. I just hate that that sound bar is right there because I have to like lift it up to be able to use it. But this is how it turned out. Look at our ornaments, how beautiful those are. And it's a great way if you have old ornaments that like you're just not into or aren't your color theme anymore, you can update them and make them upscale and put them to some good use instead of spending your money on, you know, different colors. Do it yourself, right? That's what us crafters do. 
Now we're gonna move on to the coffee table. So I'm gonna take this glass bowl, it is stunning. Got it for $2.99 at Savers and it has like this beautiful gold rim and it screamed boho to me when I did find it. I cleaned it up, I got these huge like pine picks from Walmart. I put those on the bottom and then taking these Dollar Tree pine picks that were dusted with a little bit of glitter, I put them in like the holes of the bowl so that you can still see some of the pine because I wanted there to be a layer on the bottom so it looked nice and full. It raised the bulbs up a little bit and then I wanted that little zhuzh of the sparkle from the pine cones peeking through. I was like, I love my placement of my bulbs. I don't want to take them all out. So I was working really hard on placing them without taking the bulbs out. But these seriously were so easy to do. The centerpiece looks amazing and so fancy. It looks like something that came from a Kirkland's or something you would have found at like Home Goods. And the bulbs themselves were $1.25 each a little bit of spray paint and my bowl was $2.99 and look at how beautiful these are. Y'all, I mean, these are fancy, okay? More fancy than I ever usually do, that's for sure. So now we're gonna move over to the bookshelf and I wanted to show you some inspiration from Pinterest for my bookshelves. I don't know if you guys do this, but I definitely am somebody that's very visual. Like I have to see things and then it sparks, you know, interest in me, creativity, and then I put my own spin on it. So I have two built-in bookshelves. And for those of you that did my house tour, these are not, some of it, it's real wood, but majority of this is not just so you know, cause people are going to come after me for painting them. Okay. Anyways, so I am going to start with filling these with books and decor. It took me about like two hours to do these bookshelves because I like to change my mind like a million bajillion times. But I am going to use these bells as little fillers and look at how gorgeous it looks just setting on top of that book, that little leather strap right there, some pine cones. It was just the right addition that it needed without overwhelming it. Then we take those bottle brushes and like I said, fillers, just little, wherever you need, just a little piece of decor, but you don't want to overdo it or overfill your space. And there we go, you guys. Look at how beautiful this bookcase turned out. I didn't film the whole process, you guys. I, you know, I'm not a decorator. Um, I wouldn't even know how to like, I don't even know how to explain a decorating video. So I thought I would just show you the outcome of what I did. I have a, a crazy obsession for vintage books. One of my amazing subscribers has sent me so many vintage books. So thank you so much. Um, here is our garland all put together. And I think just seeing everything together it looks so beautiful. It was exactly what I was going for. And you guys see so many of the DIYs that I have done this holiday season in my decor. I use it. I love it. I make everything that I'm proud of. And I hope you guys enjoyed this version of my DIY decorate video. And I hope it inspires you to get crafting and use those items to decorate your home this holiday season. Thank you all for spending your time with me and I hope you guys have an amazing holiday and I am thinking of you and with you during these times and I appreciate you. Take two. Let's try this again. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Hey everyone. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh, this house. Thank goodness for makeup because I look be. <laughs>